We just finished the last drawer and um, as you can see there is a three inch quarter gap from the top to the bottom. That is because I'm going to put uh, my cutting board up there and um, that piece is right here so I just want to show you how that works so I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Now I'm just going to slide that down inside, drop it down and as you can see now we have a surface for the top and that's where we're going to put the grill. Um, when we're using it so I could close that drawer over there and have space to walk around the Bronco. Um, what I do want to do yet still is I need to put um, a notch right here in the um, top so I can get it out. Right now I'm using a screw because it's a tight fit but um, we will go ahead and notch that out as well and we're about ready to screw down the top. So right now what I'm trying to do is line up my front drawers here um, this is 39 inches long and this one is uh, 16 and uh, eighth. Um, so my center line is not center over here because this drawer is obviously longer. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm just, you can kind of see them here. I got um, some dimes underneath and I'm just spacing them along the top here uh, because I'm going to get ready to take a quick measurement for the locking um, portion that I have to cut out of that corner right here and right here. Now, I almost made a mistake again because I wasn't paying attention to my wood grain. So as you can see, the wood pattern grain is matching um, because I drew my pattern on the wrong side. So uh, before I uh, fully cut that piece, I wanna make sure that the wood grain is going the same way the pattern matches so that I have a nice front on the front of the box. So we just used the jigsaw to go ahead and cut the notch out for the lock, the lock on the box. We're gonna go ahead and test that now. So I got both sides of the faces on. Uh, this one was a little bit of a challenge. As you can see, there's not a lot of material left there on the meat for this um, lock here. And I had to keep adjusting it because it was rubbing a little bit here. And then once I adjusted, it rubbed over here. But now I got plenty of clearance. Um, both sides are working. So you can see it's sliding out real nice. Sorry, I'm in a messy garage. Got some cleaning up to do. But everything looks real nice. Now I did encounter a little bit of an issue um, that I need to address the side of the lock on this back side right here is um, just a little too thick so I'm going to get a grinder and grind that down because what I want this to do is I want it to lock firmly where there's no gap right there and it's just hitting a little bit on that lock so I need to adjust that because if we go to this side you can see it's completely flush so what's happening is there's a little lip on the back of the slide on this left side and i need to grind it down a little bit to give me that adjustment because i mean it's it's locked i can't push it in any further but this is going to irritate me that it's not perfectly flush so i'm going to work on grinding that down and see if I can get that gap a lot smaller.